Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Northern Journey again. So we finished the, uh, the, the boss, the ice boss, which was the doppelganger of the that crazy party in the forest. Remember that? That was amazing. And oh yeah, okay, there we go. So here we are again. Oh god, this is so wow. It's it's kind of like a relief to be back here. <laughs> so it's like oh finally places like greenery, you know. Okay, let's see. Do you have anything for us? Okay, sure. Whatever. Um, I was watching an interview with the guy, uh, the developer of this, and he was like um, telling us about how he developed the, the, the game and stuff. Apparently, he didn't have met or well, any. He didn't didn't have much um, experience with uh, Blender to do the three D uh, stuff. That's why the characters look so weird. But at the same time, it fits. So, um, and the, 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 he told us that the game is full of spiders because they are way easier to animate. Like, uh, for, he told us like, oh, that the spiders are like, you just make the legs move. Like, it, it doesn't need to be, to have any sense to it, they just move. And a person needs to like have like a walk cycle and stuff. But spiders don't. It's just like legs moving. Uh, <laughs> and it, it told us that um, it, there are so many spiders. Uh, not because he likes spiders. He, he doesn't like them. But because he developed this game um, in a cellar. In a cellar apartment thingy, a cellar of the apartment, an apartment or something, and uh, he kept seeing spiders in there. There were like uh, he kept seeing spiders on the, the walls and stuff, and that's why he got the idea to to get <laughs> the spiders. And uh, the textures in this game are all are, were all photographed by him uh, because he tries not to buy asset packs because he doesn't have enough control over them uh, or something like editing uh you know and stuff uh which is pretty cool and it's the thing oh this thing again okay uh, it's kind of okay uh, maybe i should talk a bit more um he told that um for example he was um imagine if you have like a day you feel just like going out and he likes to go out and take pictures of stuff to be honest, I'm kind of like that too, but I never thought about it that way, things. Um, and he, you know, takes pictures of stuff for textures. And he was like, okay, so uh, if I do that, I feel good. Because even if it's like a lazy day, I'm doing something. I'm being productive, you know. And yeah, it's it's uh, it's a very interesting interview. And you guys probably can find it on YouTube. It's, it's still there. It's like a year, a year old or something. Um, but yeah, so it's just kind of interesting. I, at the beginning, I was like, they are, like the interviewer and him, they are not English, so their English is a bit uh, weird. But I was like, okay, this is a bit weird. But then I kept watching it and I was like, okay, this is kind of interesting now. Um, yeah. Oh. Of course he did it. How many worlds are we talking about? This guy keeps talking about uh, connections to other worlds or something. What? What are you talking about? Okay. Uh, some HP. I oh, know we don't need. Oh, it's this thing. Hmm. Okay, we are going underwater again. Is this the place? There's nothing. Okay, where are we? Are we good? 
What? Oh. <laughs> Was that the disguised loading screen? Wait. What? Can I? Okay, I say strange things. Uh, oh, oh, there's one weird one. Huh. Of course. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so let's go down and let's go to our next area. And I forgot to start my timer. Amazing. Like, wow. I'm, I, it's like I'm playing Amnesia now. Which is a game I thought about playing many times, but I was like, oh, why should I do it? I mean, it's a game many people played already, and it's a bit like... Oh, of course. Um, what is this place? What? Wait, 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 wait. I saw something. Huh. Okay, let me just look around a bit more. So yeah, that was a, a nice interview. Um, it was kind of interesting. I didn't watch it until the end uh, yet, but it was kind of interesting. <laughs> will, 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 will there be enemies? Oh, this is water. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. There's a red dot. Am I in danger? Hmm. Okay, let's go down then. Wait, let me just... Okay, there we go. Okay, so... Um... There used to be a time I was a bit, um, not obsessed, but I was kind of a bit watching a bunch of like YouTube videos about uh, cave diving and stuff. Uh, yeah, that's. Oh, by the way, there is another kind of glitch thing in this place. Sometimes the movement doesn't work as it should. Hopefully, it was patched. I don't know. Okay, so far it's good, but yeah, that thing used like gave me some headaches before because I wanted to like go to one place, but the character wouldn't. It would just go in a different direction for some reason. I was like, is this some water stuff, it's like the physics, or? But I don't think it was. I think it was something else. It was some bug or something. It was doable though. But yeah, I forgot to mention that on my posts in the forums though okay so do you guys know if you guys uh, if you guys realize there is no weapons you don't have any weapons so if there were if you don't have any weapons there are no enemies so that's when I realized that I was like okay so it's it's fine we are good there might be uh, a lot of vials around here. This is a big place. Okay, there it is. So these are like the lines. Uh, divers use these when diving. Uh, actually, like cave systems already have these, just in case a diver gets lost or something. Wait a second. Uh, was there a? Okay, and just looking for vials and stuff. I th that's the, the thing about this. You are just looking for vials, pretty much. And I, I did this like kind of slow because I was kind of mesmerized about all this. 
because it's just a bunch of stones but it's like okay this is kind of cool i mean after the knock pond place which by the way was the very first level the guy did and after the knock pond i was like on edge always on edge in this place but i didn't find any enemies <laughs> so it was fine okay so It's kind of creepy though, imagine like being in this situation, Jesus. Like this is how the... This is how cave diving is. Just go. And... You know... And there's like a... Um, a thing, uh, like a sand kind of thing. It's not really sand, they have another name for it. But it's one of those things, like... If you... Kick it, it... You know goes up and it kind of you know it's sand underwater it paints like a, it's not dust but it's very similar to dust and it, it becomes very difficult to see and that's one of those um, main uh, like enemies of the cave divers so it's kind of weird it's, just, it's very scary I would never do something like that like, <laughs> no way. But yeah. It's kind of weird because like you start watching videos and then you go to those videos like... Cave diving gone, uh, gone wrong or something, you know? Wait, am I going back up again? Or it is the way to go? Oh, I guess it is, wait a second. Just look for vials. I know there are vials here. I know it. I don't know where though. Okay. So, where are we going now? The problem with this is it's, it's like there is no visibility. You know, is this the way to go? Looks like it. Kinda. Wait. Okay, I can go there and I can go here. Oh. Come on, really? I thought it would be a red or orange vial or something, but this kind of sucks. Okay, I need to go slow. There we go. And let's go. Wait a second, guys. Be right back. Okay, let's continue this. So let's go again underwater. Which god this is this would be like for me no thanks. <laughs> like this guy knows like this guy has been through a bunch of stuff. A bunch of like ghosts, like demons, monsters. And then he goes and dives inside the cave. Is it the cave or cavern? I don't know. And it's like, you know, man, you, you see this? It's kind of like this. Oh, okay, I thought that was... It's kind of like... Okay, vials, where are the vials, man? There are so many small places where the vials can be. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, wait a second. Uh oh, I think this is what I mean. Um, okay, there we go. We did it. I know there is an orange vial here somewhere, but can we go up? No, not. No, I thought I could go up by jumping. At least pressing the jump button. But no. Okay, just looking around. Let's see if I can find anything. Huh, apparently not. Anyway. Uh, where do I need to go though? I'm at the bottom. This is where I came from, right? 
I think. So now I go up. Uh, looks like it. Oh yeah, there it is. Let me just go like this so I can take a look to see if I can find something in, you know, the vials, as usual. Okay, maybe not. Where do I... Where is the place to get out? So... Here maybe? Nope. Come on, there has to be a place to get out, right? Where is it? Am I going back all the way again? <laughs> uh, what? Wait a second. So I came... Oh, I'm lost. Where am I? Am I going back to where I was? Maybe not, I'm going down, right? So, is this way to work? I mean, it should be. Uh oh, I'm kinda stuck. <laughs> okay, uh, or not. Uh, please, there we go. What a nightmare <laughs> that would be in real life, getting stuck. Oh well, I bet that happens. I, I'm pretty sure it did. Uh, but yeah, as I was saying, I started watching a bunch of like those cave diving gone wrong where like, you know, people died. So I was like, okay, so after a while I was like, okay, I know they die, but I don't, I don't want to go through the anxiety to know how they die. You know what I mean? Because usually it's like, oh, he got stuck or something. Ha oh, wow. A skeleton. Like, usually it's like, oh, it's, it got stuck, or um, his air uh, stuff run out, or something like that. And I was like, okay, this is not for me. <laughs> Let me just, let's, let's go watch cat videos. Oh, uh, well. So, yeah. Like, water for me? No, thanks. I don't even know how to swim. So, okay, I think... Is this the right way or am I going back again? Like, it's so weird. Okay, there's something there. Some place to get out. Okay. Oh, okay, I know where I am. Well, yeah, I know this is the right way, but... Okay, so... Okay, let me just... So I don't get confused. Okay, this is the other way... Other water thing. Okay, got it. Let's go. I think one of these has an enemy. Wait, what? Oh, okay, yeah, I know, I remember this. Wait, what? Oh, there's a red vial over there. Ah. What? What do you need from me? Oh, a skull, okay. Oh, some ammo. Uh, these will be very, very valuable because now, as you guys can see, we have an underwater weapon, so there will be enemies. Let me just save here, I don't save in... What? Okay, there we go. And, of course, 
I might, yeah, I will end the video here because the next part will be a bit, um, I don't know, I, I kind of died at that part too, but uh, we will see how it goes this time because we don't have many um, ammo, so we need, anyway, you guys will see. It's not super difficult, of course, there's just enemies and that's it, but we don't have much ammo and there are a lot of enemies, so yeah. Anyway, guys, uh, yeah, I'm going. And uh, yeah, for the guys like this one, uh, as usual, have a good morning, night, day, <laughs> or weekend because I'm recording during the weekend. It would be amazing if this game came out in uh, if this game <laughs> if this video came out in the weekend. That would be cool, but maybe not. So yeah, guys, uh, see you all next time.